Remember all that conversation about Wes Clark, who made that final pick with Danford? A new uh, director of amateur scouting. It's going to be uh, Mark Leach coming in from the Dallas Stars organization. Spent 11 seasons with the Stars. Before that, 20 with Detroit. Uh, the resume is pretty extensive, and it's pretty damn good, Rosie. Yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, I'm not going to claim to know all the different guys in the scouting world, but when you look at his resume, it's like you've had you know a stranglehold on all of those years for those organizations and who they draft and what they developed into. And I think what is he, how many cups does he have with Detroit? A handful Four. of them. It's he yeah. knows what he's doing, and I I do think it takes a special guy to to be good at being a scout, right? You got to look at. Like everyone can look at the stat sheet and you can go watch. Yeah, he skates good. Yeah, he, he sure has a quick release. Like that's great. But to look at the intangibles and, and the things that other people will miss that you can that you can find and see and say, I know that playing like that is indicative of translating into being a talented player down the road in the NHL and picking up all the little things that other people might miss. He's obviously good at that. So it's almost like you would consider him the best of the best as far as that world goes. And now we've got him on our side, our team doing all of our, you know, head scouting stuff and going through everybody and seeing what's what and making the final decision on these, these up and comers and these prospects is, is awesome to have because it, it, it does, it goes unnoticed and you kind of are unheralded doing it because it's not something that leads to success right away. Like you can draft a stud and it's still years until he's anything if that. So you, you don't really get the pat on the back that you probably deserve, but it's very important to have guys coming down your pipeline that can facilitate, you know, a winning strategy right off the bat while they're still on their entry level deals and whatnot. And just really important, especially in the cap era to, to draft quality players and get them in your system. Yeah, bottom line, you need to find value in the draft. I think PR-wise, this is a great addition following the exit of Wes Clark to the Pittsburgh Penguins. I know a lot of people are unhappy about that, but I mentioned the extensive resume, and it's important to note that it, it was a scouting team with Dallas. It's not just like Mark Leach made every decision, but I mean, the the track record's pretty damn impressive. Wyatt Johnston, Logan Stankoven, Maverick Bork's going to be in the show next year, Jake Ottinger, Jason Robertson, Rope Hintz, Miro Haskinen, Thomas Harley. Uh, the last two um, intrigue me because I think that's the biggest thing that the Leafs need moving forward. We have Ben Danford, who's a young defenseman uh, on the podcast in about five here. But I want to see this team try to get a big fish on the back end. Easier said than done. Every team is looking for it. But imagine they draft a guy. Maybe it's Danford where they draft a guy and he turns into an absolute stud. Uh, I think it's so hard to find defensemen like that in the draft. But it really is encouraging when you look at that resume and you hear those names. And there's a reason why the Dallas Stars have been widely regarded as the best drafting team in the NHL, I, you know, in the Jim Nill era. Yeah, that, that's right. I mean, I, with defensemen, especially like these, these kids are like still 17 years old, you know, and when they get drafted and especially for a defenseman where it's not till like 10 years later that you really kind of hit your stride in that position in your prime as as a defenseman it, it takes a while to develop it's a little bit more difficult and every time you step up a league and a level there's more to learn and more to understand and it's 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 difficult position to learn so i think especially for the defenseman it's tougher to get a guy and say this guy's going to be x and when it does happen um it is special because they're hard to find and when you get one from the ground level and you don't have to go pay out the ass to go get one that's already established and you have one within your system that you've drafted and developed it's it's pretty awesome and it's huge for the team and you don't have to pay those guys 10 million right off the bat but they're replacing a guy like it's just it's just so nice if you can draft well it brings you depth. It gives you extra money in the cap. It gives you all kinds of things. And you know this person inside and out. And you've, you know, helped them along the whole way ever since the day one when you announced their their name. So you got a lot riding on them as well. It, it's it's nice and it's tougher to do. But when you start picking up big D-men that are solid in the early rounds, um, it's nice to watch them and think, you know, what could this guy be? And hopefully the skills development that he's going to get in the next couple of years are, are going to be ones that help him develop into exactly that. And supplying the the core four, if you're going to keep them, and it looks like they're going to keep them at least through next season, you need to find a way to extract value in the draft. And that's why names like Easton Cowan has come up this quickly. Fraser Minton, uh, Matthew Nyes, they have struck gold. Like Wes Clark did a pretty sound job after the first round. And um, I think anytime you can find value like that in the draft, as you mentioned, it's just going to be so big for the team, especially when you're paying four guys that much money. <laughs> 
Make sure to check out more of our content right here on the Leafs Nation YouTube page. We got long form interviews, we got clips, we got epic rants by Jay Rozo. We simply have it all. And don't forget, you can find out much more at theleafsnation.com. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah.